What's up guys, so today I'm going to tell a story and this story is not like any other stories I told on this channel. This story is my first paranormal experience. So this is probably like the scariest story I've ever told or, or experienced and I'm about to tell it to you so let's get right into it. So I was doing my vision board, right? I really wanted to do a vision board. Everyone left, my parents were at work. I think both of my brothers were doing something with their friends. Even Andrew, uh, he went with, with his friend and I was home alone so I was like, you know what, I'm going to use this time to create my vision board because I always wanted to do it. So I get all the arts and crafts, create my vision board, I'm in the middle of doing it and all I hear is a big bang upstairs. Now, the night before my mom's room when I went to go take a shower, I felt a tug on my towel and my towel just dropped and I didn't feel anything, like I felt numb and it was really, really scary. and. The same pathway is where the door slammed, so I was already skeptical about that. So when I went upstairs, I went to go check it out. I didn't open the door because I was scared shitless. I didn't open the door, but I went to go check it out. Nothing happened, just the wind. Went in my room, about to put my vision board up. I start hearing random noises. Now these noises scared the little shit on me. It was like calling my name and like whispering and saying some shit and it was really really it was talking really fast and I didn't know what to do so I was kind of like I was kind of my heart was beating I didn't know really what to do I didn't want to open the door I didn't want to I was home alone take this in I was home alone so you know what I got freaked out like the voices kept going and I was like you know what it's just my head it's just it's just a coincidence and I kept hearing it and that time I heard it and once I heard that, my heart dropped. I went outside, FaceTime my friend. I was literally outside, Angie, I was FaceTiming her. Um, and I was like, look, uh, this, this thing is really, really scaring me and I, I need to keep myself busy. She had to go. I went on my phone, I went to go call Andrew. Now at this time, Andrew changed my his contact to my, my crush in grade seven. So when I went to go use Siri, I said, call Andrew. Siri responded with, there's no Andrew in your contacts. Now, at that point, I was scared. I was like, what the hell? Like, did, did, did this ghost have something to do with it? Is this ghost telling me not to call Andrew? Like, is there something going on? But little did I know, he just changed my contact. Um, and I was scared, so I went inside my house, went in the laundry room, didn't hear, I like kept hearing these like whispers here and there. I went in my laundry room, took any outfit, put my shoes on, went with my bike to Wonderland. I called my dad when I was on the bike, like, dad, I, I heard some noises and I, I got scared. I, I left without my pass. I'm going to Wonderland with no pass. So I just, I would just wanted to get out of the house because I was literally, I never been this scared in my life. I got out of the house, rode my bike all the way to Wonderland. Now I live pretty close to Wonderland, so it was like, what, two kilometers away? So it was not, not that bad of a bike ride. So I called my uh, friend, I'm like, hey, are you, are you at Wonderland? Because yeah, I saw her on okay, her Snapchat bit, story before okay, this all happened. So I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna come. So stay there for a bit. I go to the Wonderland, I'm like, yo, I live in Nobleton. I, can you just let this slide again? Because I did it like twice, and that you can't have a pass twice. So he's like, you look, this is your last time, you can't do it again, otherwise your pass is getting it exempted or something like that, like banned. So I'm like, you know what, that's fine. Get the pass, go in. Uh, now I'm, I'm really, really shaking, so I had to go to the washroom. So I go in the washroom, and I walk in, and I see a bunch of girls. And I'm kind of confused, I'm so paranoid. And little did I know, I freaking walked into the girls' washroom. I don't, I don't know how, I, I don't know how I didn't realize that it said girls, but I walked into the girls' washroom, super embarrassed. I didn't even go to the washroom, just ran where wherever they were. So I chilled with my friends for a bit. They had to leave like an hour later, which didn't help me at all because I was planning to stay there all freaking night. So they had to leave an hour later. So I'm like, you know what, that's fine. I don't care. I'll just bike home and I'll do it slowly. I call my parents, I'm like, Dad, when are you coming home? He's like, oh, I'm coming home now. I'm like, perfect, my dad's home. It's nothing, sh no, this, this is gonna end. This is fine, I'm not home alone anymore. It's not that scary. So I go home, my dad's not home. I wait outside playing basketball. I don't play basketball. I'm playing by myself, shooting hoops, trying to kill time. My dad pulls in, I'm like, oh, thank God. I go inside, nothing happens. I tell my dad about what happened. He's like, oh, please, don't be ridiculous. He didn't believe me. So I'm like, okay, dad, that's fine, whatever. Make fun of me, I don't give a shit. I know what happened. So then my dad has to end up leaving to drive Nicholas to soccer. So I'm like, oh, no, like, I don't want to stay in his house. I'm like, you know what? Nothing happened in like an hour, so why would it happen again? My dad left. As soon as my dad leaves, I go inside and I get an apple. I go get an apple, I never eat fruit. So I go get an apple, I go outside, eat it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stay inside. This is my house. What the hell? 
stay inside, watch some TV. I never watch TV. Look, I'm just literally just doing everything to kill time and keep myself busy. Eat an apple, I hear the noise again. I get super scared. I'm like, you know what? It's just a noise. It's just a noise. So I go in the washroom because I had to take a shit from the time I walked into the girls' washroom at Wonderland. And when I'm washing my hands, okay, this is this is some creepy shit. When I'm washing my hands, um, I hear a little knock. I hear a little knock uh, at the bottom where the, my cabinet is. So my sink's over here, and my cabinet, there's a little drawer that holds like soaps and toilet papers and whatever. Like my heart's beating, I'm home alone again, and the knock was louder. And I had heard one, and I'm like, just my imagination, I heard it again. And I was like, what the hell's going on, you know? So. That scared me, so I didn't do what I did, did before and not open the door. So I opened the cabinet really fast, nothing was there, closed it again, continued to wash my hands, I heard it again, I'm like, you know what, I'm done. I went outside, I, I started killing time, called my friends. My dad ended up coming home, thank God I had, I, I was sleeping in the same room as Andrew, otherwise I would have slept with my parents because I was, was that scared. Um, and then the next nights were fine. Um, I never wanted to go in my parents' room again. I never took a shower in my parents' room. I always took it either downstairs or in my room. And it was kind of freaky. Really, really freaky. Really scared. I had never been that scared in my life. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want more story times, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you guys like these story times. I think I have a couple more. I just thought of this at the top of my head. So yeah, post notification, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. Other than that, peace out.